Live Healthy is brought to you by Kirk Supermarket and Pharmacy. Are leafy greens a part of your daily diet? Andrea Hill's gonna tell us why they should be right here this morning on Live Healthy. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us here once again at Kirk Supermarket. Mm -hmm. So we should be adding leafy greens to our daily diet, not weekly not weekendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's amazing how many people, I mean, just generally, I think, fall short of eating their vegetables mm -hmm. on a whole. But when it comes to leafy greens, I mean, this type of vegetable group is, it, it just beats every other vegetable hands down. Because of the nutrients, okay. leafy greens will, will contain a lot more calcium, iron, beta carotene, potassium. I mean, these are the types of vitamins and minerals that really help guard against certain diseases, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, um, macular degeneration, so eye health mm -hmm. um, for our aging community out there as well. So lots of antioxidants just naturally built into these leafy greens. And we're trying to encourage everybody out there to eat them once a day. Once a day. Once not a day. once a week. Not once a week, right? <laughs> so, like some of us usually do, we'll, we'll do it with a, uh, we'll have it with a Sunday dinner. Um, right. So how do we actually add them in? Right. What are the different, uh, I guess, uh, meals we should add them in? Right, right. And, and and that's that's I think the benefit of doing a segment like this, Delisa, because I think a lot of people when they come into the supermarket and they check out these outrageously looking I leafy know, greens the with all these bunny. colors and stuff, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they feel a little intimidated because the number one question I often get is, well, how the heck do you cook them? How do, how do I use them? Right. right? Mm -hmm. And I think for for the easiest way of using a leafy green, you could just toss it into any kind of a soup. Okay. Okay. Um, so any kind of uh, of a favorite vegetable um, soup recipe that people are already currently using at home, mm -hmm. they could literally just chop. Um, typically, um, don't use the stems on things like kale and collards. Okay. Because they are a little tough. Right. Um, so you are going to be using most of these leafy greens. You can just literally toss them in for the last um, ten uh, last ten minutes of cooking your soup. You know, sometimes um, people say that if you add whether it's a vegetable or one of these leafy greens into a meal and you're cooking them you kind of lose the uh, uh, vitamins good and such. point good point because these types of, of vitamins and minerals in these leafy greens are natural to fat soluble vitamins we actually do need to cook them just a little bit because it breaks down the cell walls and it makes those minerals more, much more available to our bodies okay. okay okay and you'll see that i have things like olive oil sesame oil here because we also do need a little bit of fat mm -hmm. to help us absorb the fat soluble vitamins in these um, in these types of vegetables okay. so quick and easy way really really flavorful the way I, I use these actually a lot is I'll use like some olive oil typically saute Delicious. right mm -hmm. um, slice up a garlic clove just thinly slice it saute that for about 30 seconds okay. um, and then literally Toss, toss the leafy greens in there, whichever one you're using, for about four to six minutes. You'll notice that they get really nice and bright and colored and beautiful. And then at the end, you can fi finish them off with two types of things. Some kind of acid, because the acid also mm, helps us absorb the iron. Okay, oh, I didn't okay. know that. Yeah, so um, lemon, awesome. Delicious. Yeah, Very awesome, good. especially with kale. Mm -hmm. um, and with Swiss chard, really, really nice to finish it off with just a little bit of balsamic vinegar when it comes off the pot after you have sauteed it with the olive oil and the garlic. Okay. It really just sweetens these leafy greens up really, really yummy. Mm -hmm. And then finally, if you're looking for something that's heated, nice and hot, a little bit different, sesame oil, really, really nice after you've sauteed it with some garlic and some red pepper flakes. Oh, delicious. So Sounds just delicious. a little bit of a hit of heat. So make sure you can have them both, uh, whether it's raw and cooked as well, yeah? You can, you can, but again, with these types of leafy greens, just cook them a little bit. And that's why just sauteing them for about four, four to six minutes mm -hmm. is certainly enough to help us absorb and assimilate the nutrients in the body. All right, any last words for the viewers out there just to wrap up? the segment. I challenge people out there to have their leafy green once a day. So go beyond, you know, the salad. You know, we use our leafy greens, spinach salads, romaine and all that. But try some of these. Try one new vegetable a week and mm -hmm. see what that does to your um, your choices. And I mean, at the end of the day, people can come on down to Kirk Supermarket and ask you as well as oh, people in the produce and absolutely, how to... Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. And we really welcome questions like that because we do want to 
mm. help people eat better. If you don't know, ask questions. That's right. Remember That's that. Right. And then don't also don't be afraid to try it, right? Yeah. Just because it's rabbit food <laughs> doesn't mean that it's not going to fill you and it's still good for you. It is. It is. And what people don't notice is that you get lots of fiber with these two, which tends to add to the ball, keeps your fold nice and, nice and long. So it's All a good right. thing to try. All right. Thank you very much, Andrea, Great. this week. Great. Thanks, Elisa. All right, everyone. Don't go away. There's more Daybreak after the break. Stay with us. Live Healthy is brought to you by Kirk Supermarket and Pharmacy.